Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age. So, I got some crazy power in the well, and Corypheus is still mad at us, but that's, we're, we're chill, we're chill. So we finished another quest. I was told by my friend that we are very close to the end. Not super, but, you know, very. So we're gonna talk to everyone again. You know, like I always do. Quest, talk to people, work on side quests, then go back to the main quest. So that's what we're gonna do today, talk to everyone. So let's get into this. Master, it comes swiftly, this moment that will be spoken of for ages. The day the Herald of Andraste challenged the Darkspawn that thought itself a god. Defeat him, and you'll be more than a holy Love woman. Love that for us. You'll enter legend. Now that sounds more dangerous than anything I've done so far. And there is the wits that reassures us. People joined the Inquisition after hearing you were blessed, but they've stayed because of how you lead. I wanted to tell you that I shared their sentiments, Inquisitor, and... Well, I suppose I just did. You've always been there for us, Josephine. And for me. It means much to hear you say that. Farewell, my I lady. love you, Josephine. I love when you. When you face Corypheus, may you walk in the light. What can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? I've brought you the heart as requested. Inquisitor, you are a treasure. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. I should apologize. I must admit that I'd completely misjudged you, Inquisitor. I would like you to come with me to see this through. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. nothing here now. Bastion is dead. I can hardly believe. It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I, I must write to his son Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. Oh, I feel so bad. Yes? Oh, she doesn't talk. Solis! Oh, Varric is right here. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an ancient rune where you consumed a pool of elven... elfiness, and then walked through a mirror, and 
wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? Tell me about Bianca. Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the Guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. She's what? Bianca is married. Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. Alright, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great, now I feel old. Thanks. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. I know there's more to talk of, talk to him about, but let's just talk to others just for the sake of time. And then I'll come back to him, I promise. If we have enough time. Solace. Baby. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Oh. Hi, boo. I begged you not to drink from the well. Why could you not have listened? Sorry, Boo. Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god. What does that mean exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. I'm still me. I have not become Mithal's slave. Not yet. But if you remove the layer of nostalgia from stories of the Elven Gods, you might see the danger. They were arrogant and fickle. They warred amongst themselves. They had feuds, vendettas. And you are bound to one of them now. <gasps> I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? Um, I'll make the world better. The war proved that we can't go back to the way things were. I'll try to help this world move forward. You would risk everything you have in the hope that the future is better. What if it isn't? What if you wake up to find the future you shaped is worse than what was? I'll take a breath, see where things went wrong, and then try again. Just like that. If we don't keep trying, we'll just never like get that, it right. baby. You're right. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have impressed me. You have <laughs> offered hope. 
that if one keeps trying, even if the consequences are grave, that someday things will be better. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power, that at least we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Whatever comes, I'll oh, I should have like my side. Come with me, Venan. Ah, uh, where are we going? Are we holding hands? Oh my god. The veil is thin here. Can you feel it on your skin, tingling? Excuse me, sir. Excuse I was me. I'm trying to determine some way to show you what you mean to me. That's not necessary, Solas. You're my. That is the question, is it not? For now, the best gift I can offer is the truth. The you truth? Are In all Thedas, I never expected to find someone who could draw my attention from the Fade. You have become important to me. More important than I could have imagined. Sorry, Boo, it's just not gonna work out. <laughs> As you are to me. Then what I must tell you the truth. Your face. The Valasleen. In my journeys in the Fade, I have seen things. I have discovered what those marks mean. They honor the Elven Gods. No. They are slave markings. Or at least they were in the time of ancient Alathan. My clan's keeper said they honored the Gods. These are their symbols. Yes, that's right. A noble would mark his slaves to honor the god he worshipped. After Alathan fell, the Dalish forgot. So this is... what? Just one more thing the Dalish got wrong? I'm sorry. <sighs> we try to preserve our culture. And this is what we keep? Relics of a time when we were no better than Tevinta. Don't say that. For all they got wrong, the Dalish did one thing right. They made you. Oh, I didn't tell you <laughs> oh my god. Oh my if god. If you like, I know a spell. I can remove the Valasleen. Um... I think, sure. I mean, if it has to do with like slaves and stuff, you get rid of it. If what you're saying is true, it is. Then, my people vowed never to submit to slavery. I'm so sorry for causing you pain. It was selfish of me. I look at you and I see what you truly are, and you deserve better than what those cruel marks represent. Ah, <gasps> ooh. Let's get rid of it. Then cast your spell. Take the valley. Is it gonna be away. like some really sexy shit? Let's find out. Sit. Whoa, that's so like wow. Look at his eyes. Face reveal. <laughs> Face reveal, y'all. Alasa Malarevas. You are free. I'm so hot. Oh my god, look at me. I'm so hot. You are so beautiful.
and I am sorry. I distracted you from your duty. It will never happen again. Uh, let's say... Um, are you kidding me? Wait, what? You bring me here, take the Valisline from my face, and now you just end it. I'm sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. Wait, what? Everyone makes mistakes. Wait, is he breaking up with me? What's going on? I will see you back at Skyhold. Call it a rebound, anyone? Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Come here. I did not spend a whole gameplay romancing you just to break up with me. Inquisitor, how may I help you prepare for our final battle? I need to know more about Corypheus. You have waylaid all his other plans. Now, as a petulant child, he will destroy the game board rather than admit defeat. Be ready for anything. He still believes himself a god. And gods do not fall gracefully. We'll talk later. Dareth Shira. Well then, I'm gonna go talk to my, my other boy, Dorian. I'll go flirt with him, Solith. How I'll flirt with Colin too. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tabinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? That elf, Abelas. He said the Imperium wasn't what destroyed the elves. My people would never accept that. It would reduce us to scavengers, destroy our legacy no matter how terrible. But we should accept it. Take our history down a peg. Confront the legacy hanging over us like a shroud. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. Um, you came here to help. You're not doing nothing, Dorian. You came here. You're fighting with us. Thank you for saying that. I want to do more than stop Corypheus, however. I want to save my home. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world for Love good that for or me. ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. Oh, that's like really like changing, right? Like he wasn't like that before. Work is never done, I see. That's I it, I guess. I do rather like watching you leave. Um, excuse me. Greetings again, Inquisitor. I trust everything is well with the mages. We are mostly relieved. An alliance with the Inquisition offers security. Although, who knows for how long. I'll leave you to it. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. Oh my god. I stand by everything she's saying, but then I remember what Cassandra said. 
Oh my god. Shit. Shoot. Shit. 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 Shoot. Because I want Cassandra to be divine. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I love Liliana. I feel like I've grown to like her, like, a lot. So. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't know. Sorry. I don't support this. There are better candidates. I see. Then I should be glad it's not up to you. It's time for change, Inquisitor. The Grand that was, Cleric like, very harsh. That. Like what Justinia I said. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow. But her reforms never took root. She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. You can't force people to change their minds. Then how will change ever come? People do not simply happen upon enlightenment. Most must be carried there. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. I would have rambled on too long. I am not divine. Yet. I feel so bad, because, like, I, like, after having that, um, that quest with Liliana, I understand her more, so I'm like, oh. Like, oh, I like her. Just because I've spent so much time with Cassandra, but. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You don't seem concerned about that. I'm terrified. Yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. You'll be the next divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. I love you, bitch. I love you. Love you, Cass. Oh, come on. Where even are we? Planning troop movements now. I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tavinta Imperium. And Raste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You almost sound like you admire me. 
I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. I'm not that assured. Me. I just make it up as I go. <laughs> Let all your followers take heart. <laughs> what can I say? It's worked so far. Think of it. Like Andraste long ago, once again the fate of Thedas will be determined by a woman. It makes me proud to know you. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I am glad you are here. Uh, just two girls standing by the windowsill because they're not gay. What do you need, my friend? I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. So, that book you were reading? Oh, yes. What of it? So under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart? Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Oh, I quite agree with you. Then why are you laughing at me? I wasn't. <sighs> I will never hear the end of this, will I? So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Yes, Just we are. Just a big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. It's been an honor, Bo. Oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. How you doing? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you. Oh, hi, yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Miss Arl. Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? All right. So maybe it's still you. Someone needed to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, Dunker Butt, let's have a go? Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. How is aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. I don't know. I don't know demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah? Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? You never do that to me again. Fine, all right. Sorry I don't know how to deal with rubbish no one was meant to. You seem pretty certain. You don't believe anything from Mithal. Of course not. What, I should believe all that stuff? Because elves. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe. I was drinking water. 
So call me and I almost choked when you said, like, not the elf part and living in the woods. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw. Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Kerifi's shit heel is full of lumpy truth. I get it. You're an elf. Be all elfy. But this? You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. The Inquisition is probably used to me sounding like an idiot. Not for me to say, yeah. Just saying. Anyway, believe what you want. So long as we kill Kariffy fish, whatever. Honestly, all the times that she mispronounces his name is me mispronouncing every single character name and everything in this game. Going well, I hope. What's been going on? Just relaxing, taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. I should go. Hey, Boo, standing there looking all cute. With your arms on your shoulder, on your hips. I don't even know any body parts, anyways. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light. Oh, he's and praying. And nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you. For those we have lost. And those I am afraid to lose. I'm glad you haven't lost your faith. I've questioned it at times. But I found comfort in faith when life offered little. Corypheus will retaliate. It's only a matter of time. We must draw strength wherever we can. From moments like this, perhaps. There are fewer of those lately. There's time now. Shit, I realize I'm single. Colin, you wanna, you know. Oh, come on. I understand you were off to summon Mathal, of all things. Do the mysterious voices of the well tell you what she, in fact, might prove to be? They're a little unclear on that point. I suggest you prepare yourself, Inquisitor. It will no doubt be most interesting. I'll leave you to the garden, as you like. All my plants. Do you not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold? Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? I don't think Morrigan would keep it here if that were true. Yes. Morrigan said as much when I asked her. Oh? She said I was unreasonable, then offered to explain how the Illuvian works using words with less than four syllables. Ah. The Circle had a library. I'm fairly well read. Right. I'm not unreasonable. Let's go starting a romance with Colin and like the last 10 minutes of the game. <laughs> That's all. That's all for now. Another time then. Well, I guess that's it. So, uh thank you guys for watching. In the next part, I'm going to do some side quests. Then maybe in like the next part or the next next part, I'm going to do the uh continue on with the story. So, thank you guys for watching and I will hopefully 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 see you tomorrow. Bye. Or er, tomorrow. I keep saying that next time. Bye. Have a good day.